I'm Asafa Powell and welcome to the Fast Lane Lifestyle. And I am Alicia Powell. And our beautiful guest today, Nicola Melado. Melado or Melado? Melhado. Melhado. Mel if I said the H, you know, like me have a problem Hado. with the H's. Melhado. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So today we have you here to just talk about everything relationships everything marriage nicola you've been married um going on 31 years 31 years yes yeah. so i'm trying to achieve that so anytime i want honesty straight to the point i always mm-hmm. go to nicola because she she's nicola, not going to sugarcoat Nic- anything she, nicola don't beat her own bush yes, in jamaican no. terms she's not going <laughs> literally beat her own no and bush. she's someone that i literally aspire to be i just love how you walk into a room you own mm-hmm. who you are and you, it never changes who you are is who you are. Yeah, it's either love, love take being it, in your company, you know? right, or leave it. And, mm-hmm. yeah, and I don't do embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing and it's fitting to have this conversation here because we've had so many great conversations mm-hmm. in this room, so many good times. And from day one, when I met you, you've always been so loving and comforting. I guess in a way also, you were always like a second mom to me as well as a friend. So love, love, love you. As, <laughs> right mm-hmm. back at you, babe. Yes. It's, it's sister vibe, you know? <laughs> sister vibe. Yeah. And um, Did today... Did I tell you, remember when I first met Asafa? Mm? Right, let's hear that story. Okay, uh, so I didn't know Asafa, okay? <laughs> and I walked into a plane and there was Asafa standing right there. And I, had, I stood up actually quite close to him. And I said, Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> and I turned to him and I said, Jesus, can I just touch you? <laughs> and I put my hand on his chest. No, that guy, that chest is rock hard. Chiseled. Right? Chiseled. <laughs> and he, he, he told me yes in his very nice way. Yeah. And um, it, was, it was a fun meeting for the yeah, first well, time. Yeah, and well. I, I met him a few years later. Yeah. And reminded him of the story. I don't know if he remembered because he probably have so much more to want to touch him. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, man, I remember when I remember Peter looking at me and Peter's like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> That's all you were concerned about, as long as Peter's okay with it. <laughs> no, no, and, and she she told me that she she knew me to a tar. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, the so I was like, all right, cool. You like, can get a touch. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh goodness. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you're where today, you know, um, great friends and um I mean, like I said, I love you, I love you guys' company. Mm-hmm. You know, we always come into this room, you know, and relax and good eat good food and just oh, always. Oh my gosh, we probably overeat, just... overindulge all the time over here <laughs> because that's what here is about. Yeah. It's it's great vibes. Yeah. So Alicia was actually, you know, getting into a story and I stopped her, <laughs> you know, about um you should tell the story. Let's hear it mm? from you. Let's hear it. The video. All right. Well, yeah, the, the video that we were watching on the way up yeah. where the girl um, told her friend that she met the guy of her dreams. Mm-hmm. And then she came back a few weeks later saying that she's going to break up with the guy because he he drives an old car. Right. You know, and um, mm. um, I find situation like that, you know, cause men to really kind of step away, step back and kind of lose respect, you know, for women because they normally put, you know, Box all the eggs in, you know, all of the eggs in one basket. Same like a woman, you know, say all men are the same. You know, men will, you know, men in that situation will actually look at all women the same. I guess it's a kind of like a human nature thing. We do it to each other. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. categorizing and placing each other in a box. So yeah. what's your input about this list that women always tend to have? He needs to be 6'2". He needs to have this. He needs to have that. Well, my first problem is the list. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think that I would want somebody to have a list on me. And I don't think I could ever really live up to somebody's made-up list. Right. You know? Um <laughs> Human beings have two sides. They have a dark side. They have a light side. Um, And your dark side actually makes up your light side. Mm -hmm. You know, and for me, it's what are the dark things about you? And are those the things that I can live with? You know, um, everybody has their moody side, their, you know, you know, who they are. Can I live with those things? Right. And that's what you're looking at. I mean, you know, a list is actually kind of ridiculous. 
you know, because it doesn't allow you to freely meet somebody and have somebody freely be who they are with you. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Um, if I was to say I had a list, there was two things I had on my list that I thought was important for me. And the two things were one, I had to get along with his mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's very important for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I had a boyfriend where the mother didn't like me. <laughs> and I found out later the reason why my, the mother didn't like me was because she had an affair with my grandfather. Oh, boy. Sticky. Oh, wow. Isn't that cute? Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Small world. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, actually, absolutely. So, <laughs> so, so going through that particular um, relationship and having that be something, I realized that was an important thing for me because it actually got in the way of the relationship. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the other thing I wanted was somebody who liked to go out and dance. You know, I like love to go to a party yeah. and dance. I think that's what we enjoy about our relationship yeah, yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. We go to a party and we're real music hoes. We mm -hmm. go on the dance are. floor <laughs> and we just dance. Yeah, man, yeah, it's man. a great time. Yeah, man, so for me, that was an important thing. No, um, which one would have been the deal breaker? The mother. Right. That would have been the deal breaker. Um, fortunately for me, me and my mother-in-law are like this. Right. You know, so it's... That was the only deal breaker I had. Now, is that really about the person? No. No. So if you're going to unconditionally love somebody, mm -hmm. and that's a real word. Yes. You know, unconditionally means you love their dark mm -hmm. and their light side. Mm -hmm. And it's real. Um, so when you have a list, that list is going to preclude you from meeting anybody mm -hmm. yep how do you meet somebody well i think that you know women are the peacock of the species we do the attracting mm -hmm. um even though i call my husband <laughs> 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 you know um i actually don't like to be the world flow i like to be my own um which is i like to be the chaser mm -hmm. right you'd, you'd say yes um so i actually made the first phone call right um a woman and who knows what she wants. Yeah, just like, yes. you know, I'd go to, I, you know, when I was single and I'd go to a party, um, I'd go and ask a guy to dance. Right. If somebody came and asked you to dance and I didn't want to dance with them, I wouldn't dance with them. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's because maybe I don't want to stand in front of you and look at you and dance and it wouldn't be a vibe. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? And, but if I saw somebody two minutes later that I want to dance with, I'd go say, come, let's go dance. Yes. So, I don't know. It's, you know, women need to decide or choose who they want to be mm -hmm. rather than the other thing I noticed with them is that all of a sudden they like a guy because the guy likes them. Yes, that's true. That happens. They don't lot. really try them on for size. You know, mm -hmm. do, do I enjoy being with you? Do you have the conversation I want to have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are you, um, treating me in the way I would like to be treated right. and, and, and expose vice versa. Am I treating you in the way you would be like to be treated? Mm -hmm. You know, I think sometimes women kind of, um, if you like public displays of affection, for mm -hmm. instance, um, are you displaying to that person that, you know, are you touching them? Are you, are you hugging them? Are you kissing them? If that's what you want then you actually have to do it mm -hmm. right. as well. The treatment you want is a treatment you have to give. Give back, right. So if you're not willing to give that treatment, then it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then also not accepting um, incorrect or unpalatable treatment. Well, well, and, and, and when you said that, you know, um, Somebody made a comment on one of our last posts where the person says they don't have to like the guy. Just, oh, they, no, that, I think the, the comment was um because I had said that for me, what I wanted in a relationship was love and his loyalty, right? I was already not saying it was never to um belittle his accomplishments or anything. I just was like financially, I might not be as wealthy as you or whatever. But I'm at a position where it's like, I want to build with you. 
I'm mm-hmm. capable of doing that with you because I've been taking care of myself before you came along. Even while we dated, half of the time, like I told him recently, I moved to New York with only $3,000 in my pocket. He didn't know we were mm-hmm. dating and I never once asked him for anything. I just, yeah. I did it on my own. I figured it out. So I wanted to build with him. And I guess, I don't know if they just didn't, you know, communication is like listening to understand. Some people are just listening to respond. So you're a front right. seat kind of girl. Yes, exactly. So that's what, so that's, what, that's what I put it down to. Are you a front seat yes. kind of girl? Are you a side chick girl? Yes. Mm-hmm. Or are you a money on the nightstand girl? Right, no, mm-hmm. I need to be in the front seat because my heart cannot take the other stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So the comment was like, well, I already love myself enough. Um, all I love now is just pretty much his money. I just want to love his money. So that was the comment, right? So I guess what you're saying right now is it depends on the type of girl that you are. Well, mm-hmm. funnily enough, I think that um, if you go looking for money, you're not going to find it. True. Mm-hmm. You know, if, you, if, if, that's your, if that's what you go looking for, you definitely will not find it. Or if you find it, it's not going to come with the other trimmings. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and the more important trimmings. Um, because I think you may find people that have actually, women that have actually gone after the money and they've gotten it, that they are not getting the emotional Mm -hmm. um, connection that they probably would have liked. Or maybe for that woman, maybe she's not even capable. Right. You know, that might be a a thing. But um, I think that there are certain types of women um, and if that's your comfort level, that's your comfort mm-hmm. level. I'm not going to judge you mm-hmm. around that. I can only say that for me, I like the front seat of the car. Me too. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like side chick for me. Yeah. Yes. Like I said, um, they're different women. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and not to, um, put a negative spin on being mm-hmm. a side chick because there are probably reasons around that. Right. Maybe you don't want the um the, the heavy emotional involvement, mm-hmm. the heavy lifting yes. that relationships do require, um, which is okay. Mm-hmm. You know that's what you want, and then mm-hmm. then you'll be happy, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and so I don't have any problem with that either. Or the girl who prefers to you know just put the money on the nightstand. I'm good, right? So each is your own, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, yes. so it's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a judgment on um on any of mm-hmm. that you just have to decide who you want to be mm-hmm. right and make sure that who you're choosing to be is the it's going to give you that fulfillment yeah. mm-hmm. exactly. because a fulfilled human being is a happy human being amen mm-hmm. to that that is true because i find that um with with moving here and everything sometimes it was a bit of a hard um transition for me as you talk about fulfillment right because it's like a lot of my identity was in New York, my mm-hmm. career, all of that, right? And all I've ever really known is like work, 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 work. Mm-hmm. That just became me. So moving here, I guess sometimes it's like I'm happy in my marriage. I'm blessed with my kids and everything. But there was something like I didn't feel like I had a purpose, right? So mm-hmm. when I was talking about that in the podcast was like making sure you still have an identity in your marriage. Because yes, he can make you happy, but he he can't. Every day he can't, that responsibility He actually hard. can't make you happy. Right. Mm-hmm. right. It's, not exactly. his res- it's, it's nobody's yours. responsibility to make you happy. And I find that the yes. most freeing thing in the whole wide world. The fact that I can um, contribute to somebody's experience. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. But by and large, you can only make you happy. Mm-hmm. And you have to find out the things that make you happy. Yes. Um, can you allow somebody to bring unhappiness into your environment? And that is quite different Mm -hmm. to to you choosing to be unhappy in the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a word. No, that's... You know, it's, it's, it's... It's like when people say, you know, you know, two halves make a hole in a marriage. No. It's the only time that that um, equation doesn't mm-hmm. work. It's two whole people that um, that come together and create a yeah. union. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, I do not rely on my husband mm-hmm. to be happy. Right. You know, I 
I have to make sure that I am being fulfilled in my own life, in my own pursuits. Yes. And also in my pursuits, I can bring something to the evening conversation. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's me. You know, um, you have your modeling. Mm-hmm. So you are able to, you know, go out on a job and come back and you're able to share with us after. You know, this is what happened today, right. and this is yeah. what's going on. Our and experiences. And, mm-hmm. you know, and then Asafa can go and do whatever he does during his day yes. and come back to you and say to you, boy, you know, I had this experience and tra-la-la. So it, it, it allows for um, that freedom of not me being responsible for you, your happiness right. in your own day. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and it's also teaching children. Right. Yeah, yeah. Children, you know, see a lot. I yes. mean, you, 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 if you think you're hiding things from children. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> they gosh. actually learn through oh, osmosis. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you know, they suck up everything. They see everything. They soak up everything. Literally. Everything. Literally. They do. You know, so mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of important that, you know, you model what it is to be a whole happy human being, somebody yes. who has freedom, love, power, and full self-expression. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so that who you model for them is mm-hmm. that person. So they look for that in their lives. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's because that's what I had said last um, episode as well was that's who I want to be for my kids because kids are watching everything. Mm-hmm. They can feel your energy. They see everything. So in those moments when you think, oh, they're kids, they're clueless to what's happening. No, they you know, ain't. they <laughs> they know, they see. And I always say to, to myself, it's he's not responsible for my happiness. I have to do the self-work every day, you know? Mm-hmm. And each year, each day, I'm like finding more and more newer things about myself. So when I'm whole, we're amazing together, you know. Yeah, so. and, I, and I try to, I try to support, support whatever she does. You know, she says she won't go back to work. Go yeah. back to work. You know, I will. You know, I will. I will make sure I do what I need to do. We don't limit home. each other. Yeah, don't right. limit it. And and um, there are there are men who don't don't want that. You know, there are men who don't want a woman go road, want to stay in a house, don't do nothing. You know, and stuff like that. And then and they don't what, like them. Hmm? Yeah. And then they don't like yeah, yeah, them. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so you know, um, you know, people might see us, you know, and see me, you know, supporting Alicia, you know, wanting her to go back to work because I, I realize that 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 makes her makes her happy. You know, when she's at work, you know, when she's home with the kids, you know, all that, everything that comes with it. I love I love to see her happy. So I support her in 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 that way. And, you know, it's just kind of sad that, you know. Men, you know, other men some, don't. Some don't. men limit. Well, yeah. I think they limit because they actually don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, because I think um, if you really look at the country that we live in, we live in a country that has um, a lot of broken families. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I'm not saying that people have to be married because right. they don't. But you know, they there there are a lot of single family households and that comes with its stresses Mm -hmm. um it's very difficult to grow a child on your own right Mm -hmm. um i'm not saying it's not done because Mm -hmm. it is Mm -hmm. i'm not saying it's done so not done successfully because it is i'm not saying it's not done it's it's done happily because it is Mm -hmm. but at the same time it does come with its stresses of course Mm -hmm. and um and i think that um boys in particular do not benefit from not having a male role model that that models what it is to be in relationship that's true what it is to um be in an honorable relationship Mm -hmm. with a woman right what it is to um allow that freedom i mean i'm surprised i got married because when i was looking around when i was in my 20s i didn't see marriages that where the woman had freedom and I wasn't prepared to give up mine. Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. Was not prepared. Um, so when we, I actually met Peter and thought, well, you know, I could marry this man because he, he was open to, or it was a part of his being to have a, f- a woman with freedom around him. I mean, he grew up, he's a woman's man. Right. He grew up with, Eight 
is it eight or nine? Eight. Eight female cousins. He was the oh, only wow. boy. Mm-hmm. So wow. he really understood what it was to be with women. Right. You know, as a matter of fact, I think he finds um, female company or female conversation right. mm-hmm. conversation a lot more interesting. Right. Yeah. Um, so to that end, you know, for, t- for me to meet a man who would allow me to be free, I mean... I was working, Mm -hmm. you know, I was working, making money, living my life, enjoying my life. And I didn't want to lose that. And I didn't want to stop working. I didn't want to stop earning. Um, You know, that just wasn't a part of my DNA. Yeah, that's me. You know, (laughs) and for me, um, you know, you to people have this problem with work, which I actually don't understand because I actually like work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, you're creating, you're, 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 you're making a difference. Um, it's fun. And then what else is there to do in a day? I right. mean, there's only so many money pedis you can have and only so long you can spend in the gym. On, or mm-hmm. on social media, you or know. Any of, those, yeah, any of those things, you know. Yes. Um, so what are you going to get out of life and what difference are you going to make on, in the planet, on the planet? Right. You know, so this thing about work. I have to tell you, I don't understand it, but <laughs> I, I don't understand it either. <laughs> I mean, you know, so um, a lot of these, I think, that's how I talk, a lot of these women, right? Aww. I think they're, what, they're, they're okay with not working. And because when you ask them, it's not what, only the women, though. What, some eh? men, because there are a lot of men I mean, walking yeah, yeah, up yeah, and yeah, down, yeah. right? Yeah. Some men, some yeah, men. A lot, no, yeah, it's true. Yeah, some but men are. Yeah, it, it's like, you know, what you, in this modern days, what you what you hear is like a lot of the women is like you ask them what they bring to the table, them just say them swap them food. Or right. I mean for to, to me, it's like you know, and, and men just give them money. So like those women that why would they want to work? But I think that all goes towards like not knowing who you are as a person. You haven't done the self-work. If I like when I do the self-work, I know that okay. I, apart from being a model, I want to be a business owner. I want to do this. Mm. There's ambition in mm. what I want to do. I want to make a, per, um, be impactful to society. Mm-hmm. I want to be, uh, when my kids look up to me, they're like, well, my parents or my mom was able to do this. She accomplished this. They look at me as a motivation. So that is my purpose and what I want to be in life for young women as well. Mm-hmm. So if you don't do the self-work, I think it's really... Mm. It's hard. You just kind of like, I guess that you're floating through life in a way, in a sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm some, still trying some... to understand it. You know, it's, I'm not an expert. Yeah, but... That's what I'm saying that, you know, I want to, I want to understand, you know, the, that part of it where, you know, women, they don't feel like they need to work because them can just, sell, just expose themselves to somebody with money. Right. You know, I'm just, I'm talking about regular people who yeah, sell Yeah, I think, that. I think though, I think they, though They don't sometimes... think they're selling themselves. I don't know. I think sometimes opportunity mm-hmm. or, you know, the, the, as again, role modeling. Right. The role modeling is very important. Um, you know, when you look at women, there's such a big difference between how women and men are socialized. Mm-hmm. And it's still going that way. You know, um, women are, if you, I think if you're from a single family, household you're more likely to get up and do something Mm -hmm. um Mm. unless your mom wasn't really doing anything so if your mom wasn't doing anything then chances are you're gonna be that Mm -hmm. i tell him that all the time you know um Mm -hmm. even in um even in a married household if the mom wasn't doing anything then chances are you know the 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 the, the, the daughter will may not have that ambition Mm -hmm. Um, and it depends on how the parents, the, the, the parental expectation that is put on you. Mm-hmm. I know for my children, the expectation was you were not going to be on my couch at 18 years old. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to get up and you're going to, mm-hmm. you're going to do your life. Right. And in your life, what's, what's it going to look like? What do you want to do? Um, some households don't have the ex- expectation. I think for boys, I have this theory. I think for boys, um, boys have an incredible expectation from the day they're born. Mm 
the father wants the child to be an athlete. Mm. So your father, your father must be very happy. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but if that little boy isn't kicking yeah. a football mm-hmm. at two years old yes. and it doesn't make yeah. the team or, you know, in other words, the expectation, society's expectation on boys is so big that it's daunting for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For girls, they don't have, that expectation is not even there. Right. So you find that the girl might be all of a sudden, so she has the freedom. She has the freedom and the space to, to, to come out of and find who she may want to be. Right. Uh, if she doesn't do anything, it's fine. If she does everything, it's like, oh my God. You know, look at what my daughter is doing. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, but I think it's because girls have the space and boys don't have the space. And I think from, and also I find for boys, if things don't come just so, mm-hmm. like how they expect it to come, it can't work. Yeah. Right. Girls, if it don't come just so, then we'll make it work. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, opportunity does come dressed in overalls. Mm-hmm. It means that you get the opportunity, but you have to put a little work into it. Right. Um, and this thing of today's world where everything is Instagram fame and, yeah. um, you know, YouTube fame and all these kinds of things, it kind of, it kind of distorts reality. It does. A lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. No, definitely. Yeah, because uh, what, the, what, there's, there's something on, there's, uh, I think, the per name. The per so name. I actually had seen this. Um, <laughs> this is how it's. Instagram, social media, it's really impacting our lives sometimes. I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. Because now it's you see a one body type and every woman aspires to look like that, right? Mm-hmm. So I seen the story that I sent to Saf. This lady says she's seen her boyfriend at the time liking all these images of like Instagram model that's thick, you know, BBL body done everything. She then went on and changed her whole body to look like that. He later on left her for someone that looked the complete opposite of that. So I guess, again, what I was saying was when you're wholesome within and you know who you are, you mm-hmm. don't waver. You know? Social media influence. Just like you said, I mean, you know, you can't have a list without six foot two. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because maybe who you like ain't six foot two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work like that all the time. Right. And it's absolutely sad because now she's like, she's stuck with this body that's not even who she wants to be anymore. You know? So it's... I don't know if she, she probably never want to be that person from the from day but one. But she was doing it, for, you know, for, for my guy. man, you know. But mm. it's be who you are. Who is who is meant to be for you will always be for you. I just I believe in that. I live my life by that. Every opportunity that comes my way that was meant for me. I'm on the track towards that. So I'm not altering or changing who I am mm. for anyone. Well, first of all, it's too much work. Right. <laughs> it's very hard to keep that going. I can just see like, you know, a lot of people calling us old fashioned. <laughs> I, I, f- um, I feel like I, I, I don't yeah. think, I don't, I don't think values have an age. Mm-mm. Right. No. Values are ageless. You know, um, what is valuable for yeah. them is social media. Yeah. It's kind of, um, uh, social media. I, I think it's a evil that we have to live with. Yeah. Um, I, I and I'm, I mean, and here we are, you know, We're, doing YouTube right now. Right. Mm-hmm. So let's exactly. not let's not get lost with that. Exactly. But um, it, as everything in life, there's always a light side and a dark yes. side. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, for businesses, it's excellent. Right. You know, um, and you know, as everybody, as I like to say, everybody has a brand. Yeah, I guess everybody has some kind of brand, mm-hmm. and uh, whether you're going to exercise the brand or not right. is another thing. Um, but you know, again, to each his own, or no judgment. Try, mm-hmm. right. try, 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 don't judge too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah that's, that's, true. Yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah. That's true. Uh, what works for you and what mm-hmm. works for me yeah, is going to be completely yeah, different. different. For us, social media, we're just using it to hopefully be impactful mm. and inspire someone by sharing our stories, what works for us. You can take, I always take bits and pieces from everyone's advice and then I mesh it and make it into my own and my own values, what works for me. So, we use are using social yeah. media platform in that positive outlook. I still sometimes will go on it for the jokes and mm-hmm. whatnot. But what I want to ask you is 31, going on 31 years, what, what's your advice 
for anyone. Because for me, it's like I'm like we're in this for the long haul. You know, mm. we're we're doing this together. Always be open to changing your mind. It okay. always comes down to that for me. You know, what was successful for me and my way of doing things or my way of being in 20 may not work when I'm 30. Right. May not work when I'm 40 or in my 50s. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's and, and, and life does change. You know, there are different phases to everything. And one of the most powerful things I have found is, you know, you have an opinion on something and maybe that opinion works for a while. Yes. Um, and then you have to be open to changing that, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. I found that, you know, um, in Peter and I living together, you know, just to be open to shifting and changing, mm -hmm. um, is, you know, important. I think, um, I think your word is very important. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, you know, it's the only thing you really have and it's what people come to know you as. Um, you know, I always have time for the two of you mm -hmm. because of your, your sincerity, your, 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 your just open, your integrity, um, Asafa's integrity always comes up for me. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, he, he has a way where he's, that can't work because that's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> And I find that I find yeah. that very refreshing. Yes. Um, because I mean, if you read the news nowadays, boy, people's people's word and people's integrity mm -hmm. kind of just doesn't exist. You know, and it's okay to be nasty. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Oh gosh, speaking of nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I feel like a lot of times people are just using social media and hiding behind these fake pages just to mm -hmm. be nasty. Like they're actually going out of their way. Yeah. Just, that's a lot of work. Like imagine right. me getting on my phone, creating an email, creating an account just to go and be nasty. You oh, know? I can't even imagine because I have like two email accounts. <laughs> <laughs> right now, the two of them is just, you know. <laughs> so, oh, so, I mean, yeah, social media is just good and it's bad. It's just, you know, whatever way you choose to use it. You know, who you choose to be a right. role model. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people follow different things. People like different things. I see people, you know, they love they love to see, you know, when, you know, maybe somebody yeah. dancing. You know, maybe they love to see the African dances. Mm. Oh, gosh, you know, I love that. While another person might not like that. You right. Know, so, you know, it's what it, it's it's which way you use it. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, dark side and, and right. the, dark side and, and light side. Right. And, and, light side. And, and for me, it's... Anytime we're around you and Peter, it's really like just to watch you guys third going on 31 years mm. and you're so in love. You guys are yeah. <laughs> Is that by no, literally, it's it, like I see them flirting, hugging up, kissing each other. And I would say with me kind of growing up in an African community, you do I didn't get to see that. Mm -hmm. You just get to see two people that are together. You can, there's no love there. It's just kind of like their roommates are tolerating each other. And I oh, yeah. I from day one, I was like, I don't want, I don't want that. I mean, I never seen that with my parents, but I would see that when I would visit my friends and mm. they don't even speak to each other, you know? And when I see that with you, it's like, okay, I just, I believe, like, I'm like, okay, I don't think we're not going to lose but, it. You know, <laughs> the, the, the truth is no two couples are the same. Mm. Right. But I will say that happiness and love looks the same. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So... I don't know what goes into everybody in every couple's DNA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for us, um, you choose your partner every First. day. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, when I say that, what does that look like? Yes. So 31 years. Do you think I have never seen anybody or been attracted to somebody else in that 31 years? That's mm -hmm. unrealistic. Okay. Like, it is very <laughs> unrealistic. Mm -hmm. You know, because I was also in sales. Right. Okay. Right. And I was in a real estate. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go and pick up clients and, oh my God, this guy that is coming into <laughs> my car right now mm -hmm. is a tall drink of water. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. you're going to have a little sexual yes. tension yes. with somebody else. But what do you do? No. You choose your partner. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, for me, if I, I would diffuse it by actually inviting 
the person to be friends of ours mm. because I know my modus operandi. Right. Okay. Because I was single for till I was 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's my modus operandi? Yes, I would probably, you know, have a little flirtation here and there, probably last three weeks. Right. And move on dot com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so knowing that, but also knowing that I love the person that I'm with. Right. I am attracted to the person mm -hmm. that I'm with. So I would go home and choose the person right. that I'm with. And in making those choices every single time, what you do is you don't create a space in the bed. I call it a space in the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that little, it's about 13 mm -hmm. inches, yes. 13 to 14 inches. If you can make sure that there are no issues in the 13 to 14 inches mm -hmm. where you can always push your foot across yeah. the bed and, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can't do that, you need to figure out what is in the space. And if there's something in the space, you have to get it out. Mm -hmm. I remember having an inappropriate conversation with a gentleman one mm -hmm. day and I got in my car and I said to myself, Nicola, that conversation was inappropriate. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I drove home and I relayed the conversation verbatim. Yes. What I said, what he said. Mm -hmm. Everything that took it out of the space. Mm -hmm. because even if I didn't tell him, it would have been in my space. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Right? It would have been something, and even if I could have just flicked it off and not remembered, it's funny how those things stay in your space. Yes. So I took it out of the space. The other thing we don't use is we don't use scatological language or what is known as expletives mm -hmm. in our comments, in our, in our, um, fights, mm -hmm. in our disagreements, mm -hmm. you know, I will never say the, a bad word because mm -hmm. it just does those, those things you'll be surprised. Back. They slightly nick at the person and then you get into a, um, you get into a kind of, um, rhythm with that. And it's a very dangerous rhythm. Yeah. So it's very important not to do those things in your relationships. Mm -hmm. Um, and just, you know, honor honor and you know love and, and and i mean i think peter and i tell each other that we love each other every day right you know in mm -hmm. some kind of way yes. yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> um i don't know where he is every day right i don't want to know where he is every day i'm not <laughs> sherlock holmes i did that with one boyfriend that ain't happening again <laughs> i don't want to be a warden mm -hmm. and i don't want my mate to be a prisoner mm -hmm. and i would like that freedom as well um, you know, just those kind of little housekeeping things mm -hmm. make a huge difference to being married. And then also counseling, couples mm -hmm. counseling mm -hmm. goes a long way. If you come into a point where you're, 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 you're having an issue, you right. need to go talk it out. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you just have to learn to drop it. Right. Not you know, when you see an argument going somewhere mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, that everybody has this famous thing, let it go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to drop it. Right. And because I mean, sometimes you have an argument. I say, you know what? I just need to just drop this. So can we just drop it? And we just drop it. Mm -hmm. And literally understand what it means to drop, drop it. it. You know, mm -hmm. um, are some of the things that we've used over the years. Um, and I more than loving him is that I really like him. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to like the person that you're with. You can love somebody that beats the shit out of you. Yeah. yeah okay? true. But you got to like somebody. You know, um, there has to be a level of friendship. Um, friendship mm -hmm. is very important in a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's the person that you, you know, it's like a BFF. Yeah, no, for you know, sure. Pick up and tell you, BFF, yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. you know what happened to you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. important. That's yeah. really yeah. important. Um, and I said, you know, no two relationships look alike, right? But um, mm -hmm. happiness does kind of have the same look. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Because wow. for us too, it's friendship. Yeah, I, I mean the openness. Guys. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. We're, we're <laughs> I'm a friendly guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and just like when I'm away in New York, if something happens, I'll call him right away and be like, mm -hmm. oh, this happened with this guy or, you know, just I'm the same way. It's like I need to talk about it and just yeah. let it off. Then I feel, oh. You know, like, okay, I feel at ease. And you know, there will always be somebody prettier. There will be or always somebody sexier. There will always be somebody more fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, particularly when you start getting up into the climbs of age and yeah. you start fall down and that start fall down. <laughs> <laughs> the leaves are falling out of the tree. The leaves falling out of the tree, you know. But, you know, there's always be somebody yeah, younger, yeah. etc. But, you right. know, it's, you know, you actually do make a choice and sometimes you just have to trust that your choice is good. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I think with us too, there's one thing that I know we can do that some people are always like, that's weird. Like, if he sees a beautiful woman, he can tell me like, oh, mm. she's beautiful. Oh, definitely. And, and I will see some people like so uptight about it. But mm. I'm like, he's not blind. Like, no. you know what I mean? Nor yeah, am man, I, I blind. I touch her even no. on Instagram. I come say, yo, look on a girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A girl, I look good, man. But, <laughs> but probably yeah. for you, it works out that way. So it takes out that space that Nicola mm -hmm. was talking about. Mm -hmm. Not wanting to, mm -hmm. you know, take mm -hmm. it anywhere else. So lots of gems. Mm -hmm. I see he was listening attentively. <laughs> yeah, man, I listen, I'm listening. This, that's that's why I'm here now and just to put my two cents. Because for me, um, as a man, you know, I want to understand. So the questions I will ask right. know, is, is for me to understand why would a woman do that? Why are women saying that? So I'm listening and understanding it. You know? Yeah, and I think all in all is just for me i'm i'm like okay i'm not judgmental like to each is their own what works for her doesn't work for me yeah. but that's fine yeah. that's who you are but my main thing is always sometimes too, there's some females that like they don't own who they are they pretend to be somebody else own who you are unapologetically like literally i think that's always my main thing mm -hmm. is don't it's easier said than done though. that's yeah, true yeah. that that's always Those true. things are easier said than done and that's that's a lot of um self introspection and it's also a lot of being okay with what you find. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, I've done a lot of self in introspection. Still am right now oh doing a lot of it. Yeah. Um, I don't Me think it ever too. stops. No, it mm -hmm. never does. Um, if it stops for you, that means you're kind of skating a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say one thing for me, the pandemic really made me like, sit down and look at myself in the mirror and just yeah yeah the pandemic was actually mm. good for us as a relationship mm. because you yes. know we were moving really fast mm -hmm. yeah a lot of traveling was going on yes. and just to be able to sit down for two years and just be with each other yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I actually yeah. that yeah. was a silver lining yeah. for yeah. us i think um in a lot of ways but you know it's yeah it's no it was it was nice for us too because mm -hmm. i have never spent so much time with him in the seven years we've known each yeah, other. Yeah, it was at the beginning of your marriage. Yeah, like, exactly, really exactly. great. Exactly. And then you had, you had, um, 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 we were busy making, time. we were yeah, busy making babies. babies. <laughs> wow. I remember when I called you, I'm pregnant. Yeah. You're like, again? <laughs> with, I think I'm going to end, we're going to end it today with this baby talk, you know, because we're done, we're it done. It might end up going so. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're, we know that Nicola, you know, is very busy and, yes. you know, we will save some of the conversation for, for another time. Maybe another next time, we need to have Peter on here as well. With exactly. Nicola. So they can, yes. you know, meet you guys together. Yeah. You know, they're, they're amazing. Yeah. So Nicola, yeah. thank you very much for joining <laughs> us. You know, my and, um, pleasure, my pleasure. And for always being, you a know, great a great friend and always, you know, whenever we call you always there, you know, so. That's very you know, important. Up, for everyone sure. big up and, you know, ready for the part of them. Oh, ready for the party, 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 more party I come up. We're talking about some before. I know this, it's so. Christmas. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Feeling the vibe. I feel guilty now. I need to put up my tree. So I'm gonna go and do that. <laughs> Christmas tree. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks again, and yeah. thank you guys for joining us on the Fast Lane Lifestyle with Asafa and Alicia. I'm calling him first, Alicia and Asafa. Yeah, I think that sounds better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys soon. <laughs>